Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 9th. Our readings are 1 Chronicles chapter 26, Ezekiel chapter 35 and Philippians chapters 3 and 4. And our thought is, now tell you even with tears. The Apostle Paul is very emotional as he expresses his thoughts in his letter to the Philippians. He gives us to realise that a full, committed belief in Christ goes hand in hand with a fullness of conviction which results in a living relationship day by day with our Lord Jesus. This comes across to us in what Paul writes here. His words, to be fully appreciated, require our emotional meditation if we are to capture the fullness of this message. Paul is greatly distressed about those who have failed to achieve his this vital attitude of commitment, an attitude created by seeing the unseen. Know what we mean? This must be at the heart of all true and genuine lives of faith. It is true that there will be occasions when such a vision fails, like men like David and Elijah experienced this. The letter of Paul to the Philippians is the most positive of all his letters, yet even at Philippi he had many failures to grieve over. He writes of many of whom I have often told you and now tell you even with tears, walk as the enemies of the cross of Christ. Chapter 3 verse 18 What were they doing to make themselves enemies? One thing Paul says is their God is their belly. It reminds us of the parable of Jesus about the man who had his mind focused on this, his life's blessings and said to himself, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. As Luke 12 verse 19 says, This is the aim of so many today, whether they have ample goods or not. Without Christ, lives many live to this purpose can and will come to a sudden end. Paul sums up the attitude that distressed him by stating, they have their minds set on earthly things, verse 19. Undoubtedly, these did not see they were doing this. They would usually find time to go and worship for an hour or two, on the first day of the week. The most positive part of Paul's message is his appeal. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have left you have in us. Verse 17. One thing I do, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let us hold true to what we have attained, as he says in verses 13 through to 16. Let us all press on and hold true, praying for those who cause our tears. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.